So my name is Steve Wilson. Uh, most of the people in the area that know me would know me by that name. However, if you go to my website um, or through exhibitions, I use my full name, which is Stephen with a PH, Stephen Curtis Wilson. And I do that because when I put my website together a few years ago, uh, I researched my name and found out there are like thousands of people out there with my name. Uh, notably, there is an Irish photographer by the name of Steve Wilson, and he's terrific. So I don't mind when people mistakenly find him and then they shoot me a note and go, wow, I really like what you're doing. <laughs> And then I find out, of course, it's not me. Using the camera at work, on the job, uh, that's how I really got to know uh, myself and working with camera. And at one point, uh, back in the mid-80s, uh, I got a backcountry pass in the Smokies in Tennessee and decided to take a long weekend and go down there and do some work on my own, just out in the woods and in the mountains. And I was shocked at what I came back with. Um, it was pretty good stuff. Well, the, you know, the great thing about my age is that early on, yes, I learned uh, using film. And there was a period of time that I shot exclusively infrared, which I love, but, you know, after a while, it kind of felt gimmicky. Uh, I, the, the thing that I loved about it was all of the imperfections. And so that created a, a kind of a mental challenge for me because a lot of photographers they want to replicate what they're seeing. And I don't really want to do that. Uh, so I, even now I'm still finding my way in terms of working with the camera. Um, I can, I'm not enamored with the camera. For me, the camera is a tool. And uh, even when I go out, I mean, I very rarely use a tripod. Uh, I use existing light. A lot of things are by happenstance, whatever the, you know, if there's a storm, if it's sunny, whatever. Obviously all those things impact what you're shooting, but that's part of what I like about it. Some days I just take off. I don't really have a destination. Other days I do, and, um, that particular photograph that day, it ju everything just kind of was there, you know, and I'm, I'm um, heading east on 136, and it was just one of those moments where I had to stop it. So I wanted to take the opportunity here to show a little bit of everything. And, you know, on the one hand, somebody could say, well, you know, there's a inconsistency. Not to me. I shoot Central Illinois. That's what I do. And I also look at each image individually. Um, I don't think of them in, in terms of a, a continuum of work. Um, I just try to treat each one, you know, on its own visual merits. I would like for people who live and work in central Illinois to appreciate where they live and where they work. I visit small towns all over uh, this part of the state. And some of those towns have been decimated by loss of jobs, uh, people moving away, whatever it might be. And then there are other very small towns that are thriving. And the biggest kick for me is to 
going someplace that I've heard of but never been to. I wish that more people that live uh, in this part of the state had an appreciation for where they live. And that's one thing that I would share with, with people, uh, especially very young artists. I learned a long time ago not to covet the work that I do. You will always have a favorite photographs, favorite things you create. But when you're done, be done and move on to the next thing. That I, because I have the opportunity, I want to thank Carol and thank everybody with Gallery Homes because um, it's not often that people have available space and then decide they want to offer that to artists. So I, I think that's tremendous and I appreciate the opportunity.